Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to make login sign up system in React using Firebase authentication. So at first you need to open terminal and write sudo npx space create dash react dash app and your app name. I'm giving my app name as react dash firebase dash auth. And then you have to write sudo space chmod space triple seven dash r and your project directory name that is react dash firebase dash auth. And if you are using uh, Windows, you may skip this part and then again write cd space your project directory name. And as I'm using VS Code, so I'm writing code space dot to open VS Code into the same directory. Now press Ctrl and J to open terminal in VS Code and write sudo space issue to give root permission to the terminal. And then write sudo space npm space install space double dash save space firebase to install firebase module in your react project. Now if you go inside the package.json file, you can see inside the dependencies firebase is there. Now what you have to do is you need to create a folder that is config and inside the folder I am creating a file named fire.js and in this fire.js file I am going to keep uh, the firebase configuration and at first I need to import firebase module so write import firebase from firebase okay so now go to your web browser and search google firebase console and open the first link and click on the create project so here enter your project name so i'm giving it as react-firebase-auth and as you are not deploying the application so just uncheck it and click on create project okay now click on continue and then you will get this kind of screen as you are using an a web application just click on that and then again you need to give your application name so write react-firebase-auth and click on the button now you will get uh, this kind of, this type of code here and just copy it and paste it inside your fire.js file so after that just write const fire so create a variable name fire and then write firebase.initialize app and just pass the object you have copied just right now now just uh, export the fire variable as default now you need to go to app.js file and delete the part from header and what i will do is uh, i will create a classful component here and you have seen that uh, by default it was a classless component so here i will need a classful component so I'm writing class app extends component and here you need to import component from react also and I'm writing render method and inside the render method just copy and paste whatever was there and just save it and paste ctrl and j to open the terminal and inside the terminal just write npm space start to start your server at a certain port and you can see that uh, on the 3000 port the server has been started and if you go back to your browser and open that address that is local 3000 you can see a blank page is there because i haven't rendered any element for now so now i need to uh, import the fire uh, js file here so write import fire 
from dot slash config slash var because it is inside my config directory now uh, what I uh, what I will do is uh, I will create a constructor here because uh, I have to define some state here so write constructor props and then super props alright uh, here I will need a state so write this dot state and the state will uh, only check if the user is logged in or not so here I will pa uh, I will construct a va valid object or blank object now uh, I will need a method named auth listener so inside the auth listener I will write fire the fire which has been exported from the fire.js dot auth dot on auth state changed and here I will pass a arrow function here and the parameter will be user and here I will check if the user is logged in or not and if the user is uh, logged in it will just uh, set the state to the user and if the user is not logged in it will set the state of user to null okay so now uh, I will need another method here that is component did mount and it is uh, predefined method for react and uh, inside the component did mount I am just defining the I am just uh, declaring the method that I have created that is auth listener so I am writing this dot auth listener there so inside the render method and inside the return uh, you may write this dot state dot user and check if the user is logged in or not if the user is logged in uh, it will stay in the home and if the user is not logged in it will go to the login component so here I will need two more component that is login and home so I will create a file named login.js here and I will create a class full component here so write class space login space uh, extends components and remember you have to import react and component from react uh, otherwise you will get some error now just render and inside the return here I'm going to declare a form here basically uh, I will create uh, two input fields here one is for giving the email address and one is for giving the password so inside the input tag some attributes will be there like the type will be email and the id will be email as well and the placeholder will be like enter email address and inside the on change i will call a function like handle change and i will define this function later and the value will be this.state.email and also I will define these states later so other variable other uh, input tag will be there and the type will be password id will be password as well and the placeholder will be enter password and the value will be this.state.password and again I will uh, declare all these states and for now I'm just creating a button and declaring on click attribute here and whenever the user will click on the login button it will just call the login method and the same for the sign up button so I'm declaring the sign up method here so at the very last just write export default login now you have to declare constructor here and write constructor props and inside it super 
props uh, write this dot state and here you need to declare all the states you are using I'm using two states here that is email and password so just write email and password and keep it uh, those as blank all right now you will need to create uh, another file uh, like home.js so just copy the whole thing and paste inside the home.js from login.js file so here uh, you need to change some class name here change it to home and also you don't need uh, this date actually so just use this and again you don't need the form so just replace with a header and write you were logged in and also give a button of logout and change the export default to home all right uh, one thing I have to do is I have to import the uh, login and home component inside the app.js file so write import login from dot slash login as the component uh, the components are in the same directory so again write import home from dot slash home okay now save it and go back to browser and you can see the changes here okay so I'm going to apply the functionality of login here Alright, so you can see that the login method I have declared. Now I have to define that method. So just write login and just take a parameter e and write e dot prevent default. And you need to handle this because every time the page reloads, it will uh, just take. So. Uh, right fire dot auth dot sign in with and make sure that uh, you have imported that fire uh, file from the fire dot js so uh, write fire dot auth dot sign in with email id and password and inside it just pass two parameters uh, write this dot state dot email and this dot state dot password and as it returns a promise so you have to handle it so write dot den and here again you need to declare a callback function here so take a parameter here and you can console and log to uh, see or to console out the user details so write console.log and write u inside it and then write dot then sorry dot catch and inside it uh, again need to declare a callback function that is the uh, arrow function here So write console dot uh, log error. Okay. So uh, you can see that handle change method is there. Okay, I have to uh, declare on change method inside the password as well. And also, I'm uh, I'm going to declare name as password here and name as email link first input field so here I am defining the handle change method and again I need to write this dot save state and it will just change the state of the email and password so whenever user will write something it will change the state of email and password so here just write e dot target dot name 
and here write e dot target dot value okay so here you need to bind so write this dot login equals to this dot login dot bind and this and then again you need to do it for the sign up also and also for the handle change so write this dot handle change equals to this dot handle change dot bind and pass the instance all right so now i'm declaring the sign up method here so again one parameter will be there so you can see that on click method uh, whenever the user click on the sign up button it will call the sign up method here so again write e dot prevent, uh, prevent default to prevent the default behavior then again write fire dot auth dot create user with email id and password and then just pass the email and password from the state so the updated state will be passed from here so write this dot state dot email and this dot state dot password as parameters and as it will return promise i have to handle it so write dot then and the callback function just pin the user details here and then dot catch and if there is any error just uh, console log it all right uh it to okay let me see uh it to bind the sign up method as well so just write this dot sign up equals to this dot sign up dot bind and the instance all right now go back to browser again uh, just continue with these things and go to authentication and there you will be uh, you'll find that some uh, sign up method is there so you need to enable the email and password options so enable it and save it now go to the first tab now go back to your browser again just refresh the page and click uh, and enter some email address here and also the password so i'm giving my email address and if i click on the sign up button so you can see that it is showing that you were logged in and go back to your previous uh, tab and inside the firebase console you can see that my email id is there so if I click on the logout button, uh, it won't work actually. So I need to declare or define the logout functionality here. So write logout and fire and make sure that you have imported fire file or the fire variable from the fire file. So fire dot auth dot sign out, and it is the only code to sign out from the current user. And inside the button on click attribute, just pass this dot logout, so that whenever user click on the logout button, the logout function should be called. Refresh the page and click on the logout button, and you can see the first login screen is there. So and, and if you just log in it again using your previous password. And you can see that it is showing you are logged in. And then again, log out. All right, that's it for today. Hope you have enjoyed this video. Please click on the subscribe and like button if you like this video.